Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have a semicircle that is inscribed in a right triangle ABC, as you can see in this given figure. And we are going to calculate the value of X, as you can see in this figure. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let's consider this right triangle a, B, C. We can see that is two legs. One leg is four units. The other leg is three unit. Therefore, according to this three, four, five triangle theorem, the sides of this triangles are going to be in a ratio of three, four, and five. That means this third leg is going to be five units. And here I have given a different method as well. And you can see if we apply the Pythagorean theorem, we are still going to get the value of this side as C equals to five. And in this next step, we are going to label these points. I'm gonna call this center D, this point of tangency, I'm gonna call this point E, and this point of tangency, I am going to call this one point F. Now let's go ahead and connect point D and E, all right? And likewise, we are going to connect point D and F. And here is our much nicer looking diagram and DF and DE are the radii of this semicircle. And here's a tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. That means this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degree as well so that means all other angles are going to be this angle is going to be 90 degree as well now let's focus on this big triangle abc let me call this angle alpha over here and we know that this angle is 90 degrees and i am going to call this angle beta over here then these alpha and beta are going to be complementary angles according to this effect. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees and we can see that alpha plus beta and this is 90 degrees so all their sum is going to be 180 degrees so therefore alpha and beta are complementary angles. Now let's focus on this smaller triangle DFC over here. Now we know that this angle is alpha, this one, then this angle D, this angle is going to be alpha as well. According to this corresponding angles postulate, when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the resulting corresponding angles are congruent. And congruent means same in shape and size. And one more thing, this angle is a right angle as well. So therefore, we conclude that this triangle DFC and this triangle ABC are similar triangles according to this angle 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 theorem and now we know that this triangle dfc and triangle abc are similar triangles and we also know that this big triangle abc is in a ratio of three four and five so therefore this triangle dfc is also going to be in a ratio of three, four, five. So therefore, in this triangle DFC, I am going to call this side 3A, this side 4A, and this side 5A. 
are over here that means this side DC is going to be 5a this side is going to be 3a and this side is going to be 4a and now we know that this side CD is 5a and we know that the radius is 4a as you can see over here that means this radius of this semicircle is going to be 4a so that means this part over here is going to be a 5a minus 4a means this this is going to be the x value is going to be a simply a so therefore x equal to a value and if somehow we can find the value of a we will be done and one more thing let's recall that this d e b f is a square and we know that the square has all sides are equal sides if this side is 4a then this side is going to be a 4a this side is going to be 4a and this side is going to be 4a as well and here's our final step let's focus on this c f which is 3a and f b is 4a and we know this total length c b is 3 units so we can write this one c f is 3a plus f b is 4a and we know that whole this c b is 3 let's go ahead simplify this thing so that's going to be 7a equal to 3 if we divide both sides by 7 a turns out to be 3 over 7 and we also know that x is same as an a so that means our x value turns out to be 3 over 7 so therefore we conclude that the value of this segment x turns out to be 3 over 7 for this given triangle abc so thus x equal to 3 over 7 are approximately equal to 0 0.429 is our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.